Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today would be really fun to show you what I have in my bag. I just came back from running some errands and this was the purse of choice. It's pretty heavy. I love wearing this one because as you've seen in my previous videos, this is called luggage model from Celine, but honestly, it's like a never full because you can keep stuffing it and I have it in like size small and you'll be surprised at all the things I can carry in this bag. So let's start. First, we have this little pink pouch. I go everywhere with this. This lives in like my work bag. And then every time I switch purses and stuff, I just grab this on the go. This has all my essentials in it. It has, well, it has some pads. We need to have those always. It has more pads and tissues that are used. I mean, not used, it's an open tissue box. Um, I have to have tissues everywhere I go, no matter the season. I always need tissues because my nose is always runny, like no matter the season. I have a scrunchie, a nail filer. This is super important because if I have like a nail that broke or something, it's gonna get on my nerves the whole time I'm out. Then I also have toothpaste and a toothbrush. I have some band-aids, another hairband and some band-aids. Oh my God, that fell. And finally I have Oh, I have a couple things of makeup. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour uh, fresh wear foundation and powder form. I'm not sure if I just said everything that I had to say. I love this thing. Like I took it to Europe and it's amazing. Like on the go, it has a little thing. It has a mirror, like awesome on the go. You can cover your under eyes with this. Like pimples, anything, like it's amazing. It's powdered foundation. That's why it's like my on the go bag. Then I have a Milani matte lipstick, which honestly, like it's almost done. I think I've had this since college. I should probably throw it away. Thanks, I'm, I'm gonna put that like on the side. I have Milan, uh, Milani um, lip liner in 03 Nude. This is my absolute favorite lip liner. It's like a really amazing pink. It's literally nude. Like you can make your lips overline them as much as you want because it will give that effect, but it's like a nude lips, lip liner. So people are not gonna really notice that you have like lip liner on it, if you know what I mean. And then I have this Fenty Beauty like lip gloss that I bought, like it was an impulse purchase. I literally went to Sephora and I was looking for lip gloss. I'm not a lip gloss person. But I was looking for lip gloss and I picked some Sephora brand lip glosses and then the salesperson came up and was like, hey, do you want to see like our most popular lip glosses? And I thought he was going to point me out to like most popular like Sephora brand lip glosses. And he takes me to the Fenty Beauty ones and he's like, this is our most popular one. And I was like, okay. And I grabbed it and I was like, I'm going to try it on. And I tried it on and I liked it, but it was kind of pricey at that time. And he was just staring at me and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it because I know that they also get commission. So I was like, I might as well buy it. So this is my little everything pouch thing, like life lifesaver pouch. Like, I don't know what to call this. It has everything that you might ever need in your life, but it can be a little bit bulky. So in like my smaller purses, this doesn't fit. Next. We have some headphones. I've been on this kick of like not wanting to use AirPods and wanting to use the old school headphones because I heard that like AirPods and wireless headphones release like some sort of radiation inside your ear and your ear is connected directly to your brain and like you're basically like messed up. So I've been <laughs> using these and honestly, it's been great. Like people can see I have my headphones on, literally they can see them hanging and they don't bother me but with my little tiny airpods sometimes they wouldn't see and they would start talking to me so that's great then i have some hand cream because my hands are always super dry i should probably put some on right now actually this is rose i love everything rose smelling or vanilla rose and vanilla are my two favorite scents so this is some hand cream then i have my ysl lip oil this is in shade 
200, which I don't remember what shade that was. It doesn't say the name on here. It just says that it's the YSL Love Shine one. I love this one because I don't have to take lip balm. It's so hydrating that this is like a lip balm, basically. I also have some uh, Devon Windsor sunglasses. These are new and I'm obsessed with them because they look like a Bottega dupe. I bought them from Revolve. They're actually really good quality. Like the metal here is pretty heavy. Like they look really cool. Like it's a Bottega dupe and really good quality actually. And every time I look for dupes, I want to make sure that the actual like glass it doesn't harm your eyes because I know that a lot of Amazon sunglasses like the eye glass itself like it starts giving you headaches and it just like it's not really great like even like walmart ones or dollar store ones or whatever like you need to invest in a good pair of sunglasses regardless of the price like if they're ray-bans if you buy them from revolve make sure you like research the brand like the glass itself has to be like a good glass for sunlight or else it's going to give you headaches so I always make sure I'm very concerned about my eyes. I wear contacts. I take care of my eyes a lot. So I always have to make sure that I buy good quality sunglasses and good quality sunglasses don't have to be expensive. You can literally buy something that's $80, $50, $23. Like just go on a site, do your research and you can find good quality sunglasses. It doesn't have to be a brand. I have more tissues that are open. I'm literally like, I have an obsession like I need tissues everywhere then I have this portable charger that I bought to go to Europe and it's so cool it literally has like a USB it has the iPhone it has the Samsung it has like another sort of connector I don't know what it is it has another USB port there like it's just very very cool like it has everything on here I love this thing like very and it lasts forever forever um then I have my little wallet. I'm trying to find another one of these because I really want to replace it to something brighter, but I don't want a full-blown wallet. I want something that's like very simple like this. And I want it to be a pouch because I can have my cards in here as well as like paper or coins or bills. Like I just fold them up and put them in here. So this is perfect, especially for my smaller purses. This fits like perfectly in my smaller purses as well. So if you have any recommendations on another wallet that looks similar to this, let me know. I'm open to any brands. Then I have another YSL lipstick in shade, I think this is 44, it's my favorite. Yeah, in shade 44 because you can't have too many. So I, I have two lipsticks plus the lip gloss inside this bag. I think I just, I leave these everywhere in my house. So when I'm rushing, I just see them and I grab it because I can't remember what I have in here. So that's why I have so many in the bag. I have a little hairbrush as well, like a little wet brush because um, my hair gets really tangled, especially when I'm wearing uh jackets and sweaters i don't know if that happens to you guys too and i always like my hair to look fluffy like this you see so i carry this brush everywhere and whenever i go to the bathroom i just do a quick brush i'm very girly i like being a girl um then i have this baccarat rouge 540 perfume my mom gave me this one and i love it it's a little like a little bit bigger than a sample size i think this is the travel size and I just have it with me because if I'm walking around and my friends are like, let's go do this and I'm like doing errands, I can join them, just squirt this on and like, I look fabulous. Like I was never walking around sweaty. This like, this is magic. It's really strong. It's a strong perfume. I would not gravitate normally to a perfume like this, um, but it's it does its job. It's really good. So I recommend but only if you like strong perfumes. I like more on the softer floral side, but this one is really good to like hide any stink if you do end up stinking. Um, this one's great. And then finally, I have this little card that I bought at Anthropology, and I need to write in it and give it to my fiance. I saw this card and I was like, I need to write, I need to buy this for him because it's perfect. And it just reminded me of him. 
And so there's no special occasion, no anniversary, no, no, no birthdays, no Christmas, like nothing. I just saw it at the store and I was like, this is so cute. I need to buy this for him. And so I still need to write in it and then I'm gonna give it to him. So that's been just sitting here, but he is right there and he probably heard me saying this. So he's gonna walk over here at some point and he's gonna be like, let me see the card. Give me my present, give me my present or something of that sort. I was supposed to keep it a secret, but I'm pretty sure he heard. So that's everything that fits in my Celine luggage bag. I'm just gonna put everything back in. Um, we have the pouch, this, and yeah. I hope this helped anybody that's like looking to buy this purse or just curious as to what we carry in our purses. This is it, this is what I carry in my purse. I'm not doing a good job at putting everything away. I'm just kind of throwing everything in here when I should be putting it out, stuffing it differently. And then I just close it. That's it, you're done. Everything fits and it has the shape of my knee because I was putting it like that. There you go, perfect what i have in my bag i hope you enjoyed this video thank you again for tuning into my channel and see you next week 